Hello, it's time for another tunnel take. Smoking my my Norden fourth generation. Gotta put a stem on. Smoking some of the Merkwood gifted me from um, uh, Mark Welsh Piper. Oh yeah, I got my loud shirt on in honor of uh, Edward Hobbs' last video. <laughs> and he had a killer shirt on his last video. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, Mark is talking about coming over here to a pipe show, you know, across the pond here, and, uh, he's looking for some VRs as to what we've experienced as far as pipe shows, and which one should I go to, and I'm not going to tell anybody which one they should go to, uh, but, uh, I've been to two different pipe shows uh i've been to the ohio pipe show the columbus ohio one and that happens i think in uh, august last of august something like that um and the chicago pipe show i haven't been to the um the uh mule town pipe show and haven't been to las vegas um from what I heard about the Mule Town Pipe Show, it's there's a lot of people that go, mm, well, put it, for the size of the venue, it's kind of crowded, they say. I don't, the video that I saw, I don't think, uh, it didn't look probably half the size of the, there are some people that I don't, would know better than me that, that have gone to the Ohio show and the, uh, and the Mule Town show that that would have that would be able to tell you better. Um, it looks about half the size of the the uh, the size of the showroom area where all the sales are going on and everything. Uh, uh, the um, the uh, and there's a lot of YTPC guys that go to the Mule Town show. The most YTPC guys I've ever seen at a show was at it was at the uh, Columbus, Ohio show. Um, the prices are good at Columbus. The, the video I've seen of the, um, of the, uh, and, and it's hard to get a, I, a real good idea of the size of things and how many people are around, but the video I've seen of the Vegas show, it didn't look overly crowded to me and, and it doesn't, and it didn't look like the tables of the of the Ohio show was there. I don't know though. You know, there's there's some people that have been to both shows, I'm sure that that hopefully will do a VR for you. The uh, Columbus show has gobs of white TPC guys there. Um the Chicago show though was immense. And there was it in a smoking tent there was twenty tables, I guess. You know, with eight, nine people around each table. I mean, it was huge, and only one table was was made up of the YTBC guys that I saw. It, which was which kind of um, was a reality check for me of how small the YTPC is in the pipe smoking world. Really, you know, um, the Chicago show was breathtaking. I mean. Hands down, I couldn't believe it was a, there was a pipe show out there that was that big. I mean, a huge uh, uh, room for uh, with all the tables, with all the vendors and all. And then across the hall was a room as big, if not bigger, than that room. And gobs of people there. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was an event. That's for sure. There's no question about it. It was an event. I would I would suggest the Chicago show. I really would. And the um, and that thing about which which was kind of like I was like a little bit apprehensive because when I went to the show because you know, you hear all these things about crime statistics in Chicago. This place where 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 the uh, where the Chicago show is held is way up north of any downtown area, and um, 
a uh, really swanky part of town, part of part of the north part up there. And um, I, uh, you know, I know some sometimes you you get them, them them folks that like to stop traffic, you know, get in the road and stuff like that. So when I went, I visited my son in St. Louis. And then jumped from there, left my wife in St. Louis, and, and went to Chicago for the day. Now, that was like four hours, something like that, uh, getting there, and then four hours back that evening. So I was able to stay at the show for like three hours. Man, I don't want to do that again. I, I want to stay a night up there. But that that means less time with my son, his grandson, his wife. and yeah, That's just awesome. And, and that's a great spot in St. Louis, that's for sure. And... Uh, I had to see how it's going to work out this year. I, I plan on I plan on going to the the one in uh, April there in Chicago, and I still plan on going to the one in um, Ohio. Um. Uh. Yeah, the the Chicago show. Um. I, I know you mentioned in your video that the Chicago, the motel is close to the airport. Are you sure that the motel is close to the airport, that, that where the event is happening? Because when I was at the event, I never heard an airplane. So when you said that, I was like, well, I, I, I never heard an airplane while, while I was there at the, at the show. Even going in and out and stuff like that. I never heard one. Um, that was that was a beast of a show. I didn't I had no idea that it was a show that size. I knew that was the oldest that was the oldest established pipe show in the country, I think. And uh and uh every vendor apparently wants to be there. Really, and every pipe smoker in the area is there. I reckon. Um, it's an awesome show. The Columbus show is is great because I know so many people from the YTPC there, and um, uh, and the prices are good because it's kind of a it's it's more of a hometown feel the the uh the uh, um the ohio show is because it's you know the uh chicago show has got this uh, aura around it as being the biggest uh the vegas show's got this aura around it of being the international uh you know that sort of thing you know so so both of them have got that going against them really as far as uh being able to attend without spending an arm and a leg for a pipe. Some of the pipe prices that I heard in Vegas was unbelievable. Gee. I don't know if the I don't know if the tables cost so much that they have to charge like that. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Or maybe everybody's going through all their money and, and, and they need some more money for gambling. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but The uh, the prices at um, at the Chicago show were not as cheap as the uh, as the uh, Ohio show, but um, the sight to see, I think, really once in your life, go to Chicago for sure. And at the same year, go to the uh, uh, Columbus show. Really, you know, gosh, what what a couple of great shows. And they both have their own personality. They really do. And it's amazing how a pipe show can be like that. You know, it has a, has its own its own aura about it. You know. Yeah. Man, I hope to see you. I really do. That would be great at some point in time. And uh. I'm hoping McGill will be at the uh, Sailor Piper Man will be at the Chicago show. I'm hoping he will. Um, 
and uh, the Chicago shows in April. And uh, that would be great. Um, good times, man. I tell you what. Hmm. I will have a lot more fun and you know it's going to take two days to take in the, the Chicago show uh, the uh, Ohio show, show takes a day to take it all in and then the next day if you're staying overnight the next day you're able to chill with the guys and that night able to just you know smoke with the guys out there in the uh, smoking area that's right right you got the you got the vendor building your vendor room here the ballroom area and then you walk across the hall and you're out of out of the door and you're right in the big smoking area patio area with with umbrellas or a tent was under there i think this this year and uh really convenient the chicago show you'll have to walk about i don't know maybe 50 yards something like that to get to the, the uh, smoking tent and at Chicago show, they had a table there that was just full of tobaccos. The uh, the the pipe um, uh, club that puts it on, all their members brings just gobs of tobaccos of their own that you can just pick any one that you want and and, and just just gobs of samples of different tobaccos. Up there. I mean, it was it was that was really neat. That was really neat. I mean, there's just not enough. There's just not enough smoking time to, to try all that you want to try, you know. But that that was a that was a cool ass aspect of that show. That's for sure. Um, pipe shows are awesome, though. Every one of them. I, I mean, uh, just to, just to see the sights and you know us us guys that are into pipes, and pipe styles, and pipe manufacturers, and pipe uh, artisan make uh, pipe makers, and and uh, and uh, and then on top of that, get to see guys that we've that we, that we know on on YouTube. You know that. Uh, well, I tell you what, it doesn't get any better now. It really doesn't. I clear it though. Mm. Anyway, I guarantee you're gonna love whichever one you go to. <laughs> and I guarantee you that. Yeah. But so uh, hopefully some some of the guys uh, will um, do VRs for you. That um that have gone to the uh, Mule Town show and the Columbus show or the uh, you know, different different um uh combinations other than my combination which has only been the Ohio show and the Chicago show maybe somebody's been to the Chicago show and the Vegas show that can give you a a, a true layout of what both compared comparable both of them compared to you know and and uh and the mule tarot town compared to vegas and you know all the rest of it you know i just haven't been to all four all four big ones put it that way um there's there's some smaller smaller ones sprinkled around here and there uh the south down here we need a pipe show you know there, you know we need something like in georgia would be a central location you know uh, the, the pipe show, I didn't hear much about the pipe show that went on in a, in a, a New York a month or so ago, or two months, a month or two ago. I didn't hear much about that, and I don't think I saw a video on it. And if anybody knows that somebody that did, did a video on it, let me know so I can watch that. I want to, I want to see that. See if it was, uh, of any size, you know, um. I think uh, the Richmond show is going to be held this year, this coming year. I don't know what, what date that is or what month that's going to be in. Um, so so that, that'll that be nice to have a have one a little closer to the, towards the south and on the coastal area of the, the east coast, you know. But, um, yeah, the south needs a, needs a pipe show, that's for sure. And it'll, it'll pull a lot of people in. I don't know if I don't know if uh, the South doesn't have many pipe smokers or what. I, I often wonder about uh, pipe smokers per state, and who in the world would know really? You know, I don't know if anybody has that geographic information, but um, 
that would be kind of interesting. Uh, Ohio apparently has right many, but the Chicago area up in that up in that uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, um, Ohio, uh, no, uh, uh, Iowa area. Oh, you know that that whole Great Lakes area. You know, apparently they've got a lot of pipe smokers in there up in there. Um, Vegas pulls people from everywhere because everybody wants to go to Vegas. Seems like. I haven't got much desire to go to Sin City. That's just me. And, um, anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I, I can meet you. Man, I, that would be awesome. That would be fabulous. Man, you guys getting, you and your, you and your wife getting out like that, that is just fabulous. That is, that is fabulous, that's for sure. Man, you guys will have a blast. I know you will. Yeah, and find out what she wants to see and and make that happen in your schedule. You know, man, that would be that'd be great. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all have a good night. I'll see you now. Bye.